Okay, so in this video, I wanted to talk about one of the moments that I've had in the last three weeks where I feel like there's a new clarity, a new level to my life that, that wasn't there before. Well, it was there when I was a child and then I lost it. You, you get lost going through your adult life. A lot of us lose what it's really about. And one of the words that I, I keep hearing spiritual people talk about, and I think oh, I just don't get it, was the word surrender. I keep hearing that and I just somehow, I feel like if I do, I'll lose control and I'm not me anymore. And <laughs> what does that even mean? You know, surrender is like giving up, right? And going through this book now of the power of now, it, there was a little light bulb that went off and it made sense to me. So this is what I'm going to share. This is how I interpreted the word surrender. Okay, and resistance. Resistance has been another one that I've found over the years really hard to understand. What, is, what does this resistance mean? Resistance to what? What are we, you know, it was just really hard for me to get my head around it. And all of a sudden that also just clicked magically. For some reason, the two words just came together as one. So, what I understood was, okay, resistance is when you're not accepting this moment right now, just the way it is, okay? Because we're constantly living in the future, because what happens over there is a lot better than what we've got now. You know, we're constantly looking at, oh, in a year's time, in two years' time, in 10 years' time, when we have that, whatever that is, we're gonna be a lot happier with that than now in front of us and the truth of it is that this moment that you've got in front of you is all you've got right now it's all you've got you don't know if you're gonna have that moment I've said this so many times that moment that you're waiting for is gonna bring you so much happiness in five years in ten years in whenever that may never come You know, I just this morning, it's morning yesterday, I just discovered the very first white hair on my eyebrows. And I was so joyful because I'm thinking, <laughs> you know, I'm nearly 50. I'm not there yet, but I'm nearly 50. And to have this white, you know, hair on my eyebrow, I just feel so privileged. You know, when I've had a cousin that's died at 38 from leukemia, and I've had a very good friend die at the age of 35 last year to be able to get to 50 and to keep living, to keep being able to create all these videos for you and to have been able to create this gorgeous book for you. You know, to keep being part of making the world a better place. I just feel so honored. I was so happy. You know, so resistance is when you are not happy with what you've got right now, you resist it. In your mind, you're still creating all these scenarios of that's going to be much better than what you've got right here, right now. That's resistance. Looking at what you've got right now in your life, that you have this life, that you're alive, and not being happy with that. Now, the word surrender suddenly came to me and made sense through this beautiful book. Surrender is when you accept this moment as it is, right here, right now. You accept it. You don't want anything to be different. You're not labeling anything. You're not judging anything. You're just accepting it. It is what it is. now something happened in my head I realized that for a really long time most of my life I thought that my mind and my soul were the same thing my mind all these thoughts and these voices that you have up here going on chatter 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 I thought that was my soul trying to talk to me 
realised it was actually in the very first page of this book. That they're not the same thing. They're not the same thing. Because if you stop to notice for one second, you are observing all these voices in your head. You're observing all these thoughts that go on in your mind. You, your soul, you, your spirit are observing. You are not the same thing. That's why when we talk about the soul has an agenda, it's here to experience something. And sometimes we as human beings, our mind can't fathom, we can't understand why would someone go through that? Why are they having that experience? To us, it's intolerable. It's, you know, we've got all these labels for it. That no human being should be going through that. But the soul knows different. The soul has its own agenda. It's doing its own thing. It's here for something else. And that's where I realise the, the surrender, the resistance, all of that. To surrender is to accept this moment as it is now. Just live in the moment. Accept it yourself in it. It's all you've got. And accept that it's there. It's, that's the way it is. It's just, it just is. Your mind will never understand it. That's not what the mind's for. Your mind will always want to judge it, want to label it, want to push you away from this moment. It wants to keep you in that future where you're going to be so much better over there. That future is so much better than what you've got now. That future may never come. The soul knows that. It keeps yearning for you to stop. Stop the chatter upstairs. Stop. Stop the voices. Stop listening to them. The soul just wants you to be. When we talk about that beautiful inside of you that you don't know who you are that's what we're talking about your soul your spirit you know it's there you know there's an energy inside of you that's more than just your mind you know it's there especially for most of you out there that believe in God you know there's a soul the one that you don't want the devil to take you know you know there's a spirit there's a soul inside of you just wants to be. It just wants to be in this moment. It wants to enjoy every second that it has to be here. It wants to experience. And we don't allow it to be. We are always either that way looking forward, because that's a lot better than what we got now, or we're that way looking back because oh that was horrible. And we spend a lot of time avoiding that using alcohol and drugs and other things to numb that out because we don't want to feel that pain. We don't even want to look at it. We don't even want to remember that we went through that. So we'll do anything we can to block that out. So I want you to really look at your life today because if you can make peace with what has happened in the past, if you can understand that, if you can forgive a degree and that is your passion that's what you want to do okay you want to be a doctor enjoy every minute from here to there enjoy it all enjoy every class that you've got to learn that's what I used to love about school every class every lesson that I learned I was engrossed in that lesson I loved it because I was learning something new that was my nature enjoy enjoy every step of it rather than just be looking at that end of when I'm a doctor that's when I'm going to be happy. None of this up to there is going to matter. You're going to have so many experiences in those, what is it, six years, eight years, ten years, however long it takes to become a doctor. Ten years is a long time. You're going to make a lot of friendships along the way, a lot of relationships. You're going to meet a lot of people. If you're not eating the moment, you're not going to enjoy any of that. You're going to be too busy with your mind over there. Another goal set, and your mind's going to be on that. Maybe get 
the house, raise a family, whatever, and get married. We live like that. We live from moments that are 10 years away, five years away, and that's we minds focused on that. But we never learn to enjoy every single moment that leads up to that. Because that's the journey. We don't learn to enjoy the journey. We just think it's always about the destination. I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye for now.